Uh, it's Tom the English Picker here. I just um, thought I'd play this little game and uh, this game involves some rubber gloves and this purchase from the car boot sale. It was like an outdoor car boot slash sort of flea market type thing and I walked up to the stall and saw these in here piled up there and the game I want to play is what's brown and sticky but not a stick. So let's have a look at the goodies and see. I saw this top white one here just sat on top of the stall and it's a, uh, a DSi. Yeah, I'm really, really hoping that that's chocolate. I'm really hoping that's chocolate. So yeah, it's all in the, in the corner there. So yeah, so I got that. I got a black one here that's got all crap on it. Well, hopefully not crap. And then we've got this one here. So that's a DSi XL. And because these were, well, maybe covered in crap, there's no charges. And I said to the guy, I said, oh, how much are your consoles? And he was clearing stuff out super cheap. And from based upon other stuff that I'd, um, I'd seen in quote prices. And then there's this one here, which is just a red uh, DS Lite. This one's not as grubby. This one is... Uh, I can take these face stickers off. This one shouldn't be too bad to clean up. I said, how much? So we've got two unknown whether they're working DS, um, DS lights. We've got two games, we've got Cars 2 and Lego, a Lego game. Uh, and then we've got a white DSi and then two DSi XLs. Um, and he goes, I don't know, he goes, they're a bit grubby, aren't they? I was like, yeah. I wanted to ask him what was on them, but I didn't. And there was loads of people swarming around and he went, Ten pounds, and I couldn't get the ten pound out of my pocket quick enough. So let's see if these clean up anyway. So I'll get back to you once I'm done. So half an hour later, this is the results of uh, a lot of scrubbing and cleaning using flash wipes and some kitchen roll. So the one in question that was the worst is now. There's still some little bits of residue. I'm pretty sure it was chocolate. Um, it was too much of a consistent texture for chocolate. But yeah, there's a bit of a scratch on that screen. Um, so I'm going to plug them in and see if they work. But some of them, like this one, is actually in really decent condition. This one's got some scuffs on the top, just here. But this one's really nice. So yeah, hopefully 10 quid well spent that all the batteries are flat and them and the games are cleaned up alright as well. So uh, yeah, this red one's come out a treat. So yeah, let's get them charged and see what happens. So I've now charged all these and um, I know the results, but I just thought I'd share all this with you. Um, I'll tell you the good news at the end, but we'll uh, I'll go through and show you uh, the bad news. Um, so this one, which is in uh, seemingly nice condition, I've charged it up. It's had a real good amount of charge. You, uh... So yeah, just open them all up. Um, you switch it on. And um, it seems to have lost its charge, but basically nothing comes on on the screen at all. Um, then over to the black one. Absolutely nothing on the screen. So, yep. And then, so they're duds. So then on the really grotty one here, this one I didn't expect much. And it's got a cracked top screen. Well, something's going on with the top screen. It actually works fine. It reads games and everything. It's just this top screen. 
Now I am aware that you can, you know, replace these, but one, I haven't really got time to, and two, I, I'm, I'm not as confident enough to do that yet. So yeah, that's that. And in hindsight, it was covered in whatever it was, but you can see just there that it is broken. But I couldn't have seen that because it was covered in crap. And you can sort of see at an angle here what's going to happen with this one. And the same with this. Let's see if it'll pick it up. It's not picking it up. Um, yep, yeah, so probably can't see there, but the top screen's smashed. Bottom one works fine, touchscreen one, but that top screen smashed. So there we go, and there's a running theme here. This one as well. So how bizarre that they're, all those ones have got smashed top screens and then the DS lights just don't power on at all. Well, they power on, but no pictures at all. So um, yeah, that's why they were cheap. Um, I'm guessing the guy, I mean, in hindsight, I should have known, you know, it, they didn't come with chargers or anything like that. So I bought them on the premise that they were all broken. I am aware that you, I mean, I could sell these for probably about 10 to 15 pounds, just broken like that, these ones, and I'll get considerably less for these, um, for someone who could fix them up themselves. And also the two games worked fine. It was Lego Batman 2 and Cars, Disney Cars 2, both for DS. And um, my money back, my money's back in them basically. So this is the profit here. Strangely enough, I did buy some other DSs. I got this one, but this one was a quid, and I knew that the hinge was broken on it. I've got a couple of ones with broken hinges, and um, I'll sell them off in job lots. Same with this one. This one is a, a original DS, and it's cracked just there. This as well was a pound, so. Um, no big deal, I mean if they're cheap like that I'll buy them and put them in big job lots but it's just a shame with these being such nice condition on the outside that they are in fact broken and I had to go through the pleasure of wiping sticky brown mysterious substance off them so uh, there you go. So thanks for watching everyone, I thought, I thought I'd just film this process and people to have a bit of a giggle about it and um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I think I've won the award of Gullible Muppet of the Month for buying these. Anyway, take care everyone. Speak to you soon.